Welcome to Podmas Day 9, Coco from the Dark Podcast, Episode 17. Let's get into these messages. So, the last time I had a dream that felt this powerful, I woke right up and started recording. But this time... Spirit let me, you know, meditate and get into the flow of things. And uh, I just had to write the messages down as they came to me. I didn't write the dream down. I just wrote wrote the messages down that came about from the dream. But I'm going to tell you a little bit of the dream. And then we'll get into the messages. So it feel like it was like flip-flop my dreams they always flip-flop i don't know if it's because there be multiple energies that you know i connect with in the astral and the dream world or if it's just it's probably that but anyway so i was working at this job i had just started i've probably been there about a week and it was i remember i said a week and a day it, you know, I, I remember saying it in a dream, but um, it was closing time and I was the last to leave. It was almost time for me to get off. And I remember there being a knock at the door. And when I went to the door, it was a familiar face. It was someone that I went to high school with and um, I, he had a crush on me. And I think we talked for a little moment, but, you know, it ended up ending pretty badly, but um, it, it, I feel like I feel guided to say because of a third party, but um, he came to my job and he gave me this invitation. He wanted me to come, but I could tell, still tell that he had feelings for me, like he was very happy to see me. and. Um, It was like a baby shower or something. So I remember sending him off his way. And um, like the vicinity that I worked in, it was like walking distance from some other people that I worked with. Um, Like um, I'm feeling like there was like some higher level people. And um, the baby shower was not far from that. So I remember... Uh, someone came to meet me like we, we would always like it's only been a week and a day but we would always uh, meet someone would come walk and meet me pick me up I would lock the building up and we would either leave go do something or you know whatever but this time we were leaving to go to the baby shower this person was going to the baby shower as well but anyway I remember on the walk to the baby shower, I remember saying, I don't even know how they know where I work. I just started working here and I never talked to this person. I haven't seen this person in like a large amount of years. And um, I remember not really wanting to go, but the person that I was with, it felt like it was a relative or something, a cousin, something like that. They were like, well, I always feel comfortable when you're with me. So I was like, okay, well, I'll go. And I remember passing by this car with, it was either another relative or just a familiar person or a familial person. And they were like in the mirror, you know, in the car, in the, in the car mirror. And I remember knocking on the door and waving and they just looked like, and rolled their eyes and just kept, <laughs> kept doing, you know, whatever they were doing, which was weird because I did not have any beef with this person, but they obviously had some kind of beef with me. I'm hearing hidden beef. So we're walking to the destination and on the way there, we're just conversating. And I remember suddenly we were in, um, I, I want to call it a uniform, but it wasn't a uniform, but everybody in the place had this on. I noticed once I go in, but I have on this white dress and um, my cousin has on like a, a I want to say a blue tuxedo or blue suit. And um, we're like in line going, every, we see people going in this door, so we go in that line, but then we notice that these people have on different uniforms and then it clicks that they're the servers. 
the, the you know they're serving the food and things like that and it's a bunch of them it's like two lines long worth of servers so as they're going in we kind of sneak in i remember he walked in before me we come in and we go to the left and i i remember feeling i know that it was like a whole bunch of people it was a big, a big bunch of people like the servers were going this way that's where all the food was in the front of the um establishment and we were going towards the back and i remember just looking down going straight to somewhere to sit like going to the the back of the back <laughs> so i remember um going to the first table at this point i think my cousin stopped and talked to somebody and i remember like okay i don't know where we're gonna sit i'm gonna just sit where i see seats open and i remember looking like further like it was it wasn't the corner but it was close to the corner like the back corner of the room and i remember going to sit somewhere and when i was about to sit down one of the guys put his feet up crossed his feet in the chair that i was about to sit in to let me know that somebody else was about to sit there and i was like you didn't have to be rude you just could have said that that's someone's seat like you know there's no need to be rude but i did notice that his shoes were very nice very nice shoes they were shiny i want to say they were like a gold color i don't know but it was like ex extravagant dream shoes <laughs> but i mean they could be real i don't know but they i know they were really shiny but anyway so we sit somewhere else um uh, i also noticed that the guy kind of had like an attitude towards me for some odd reason never seen him before didn't know who he was i don't know but i remember um like people were like watching to see where i was gonna sit and then my cousin finally came up and we, we finally chose somewhere to sit and i remember um we were sitting there now i can't remember what happened between us sitting there to this next part of the dream which is kind of wild but i remember getting up and I just started dancing. I felt I really I feel like I got tired of the the energy that was in the room. It felt kind of boring in the room. So I just got up and I just started dancing. Like they were playing music. So I just got up and started dancing. And um I remember there was a mirror in the back. And I remember looking at myself in the mirror, making sure my hair was, you know, all good and um, you know, my dress was on, you know, everything was situated. Then the next thing I knew, I was in the front of the room dancing, but it was like I was doing like a seductive burlesque type of dance. I remember like <laughs> I remember like it's a little raunchy, okay? I remember like being on a pole and like dancing on the pole and like, you know, gyrating and all kinds of things. And then there was this bed in front of me. It's a dream, so you know, who knows? There was a bed in front of me. And there was a man asleep in the bed. I'm right now I'm getting like sleeping beauty type of vibes, but you know, male version. It was a man in the bed and he was asleep. And I remember feeling like he was like a president or like I, I remember hearing the word president. I know I remember hearing that. Uh not the president, y'all don't get it twisted, but it was like it was um a guy. We were around the same age. And I remember walking up to the bed, grabbing his, going under the covers, grabbing his, you know what, uh, stroking it. And I don't remember if he opened his eyes. I just remember kissing him. And as I was kissing him, the kiss got passionate and deep and he kissed me back. And it was just, and then I woke up. Don't ask me. I don't know. I'm just delivering messages, you know. So the messages that i got from this dream the very first thing that i heard when i woke up first of all i still when i woke up i felt his in my hand and i felt his lips on my lips so i don't know if that's significant to somebody or what but it says don't do things in excess just because of boredom or comfort i'm seeing someone like smoking a lot someone like uh, comfort eating stress eating stress shopping like retail therapy i'm saying like to like slow that down slow that part of you down during this time excuse me thank you and for those who ask 
when I burp and I say excuse me and thank you, excuse me is for y'all to be respectable. Thank you is for the most high for cleansing out whatever that unnecessary energy was that I knew that I just released. So just so y'all know. Anywho, says so be mindful. Do not embrace the spirit of greed or wastefulness. And when I heard wastefulness, it was about like I'm gonna use a pizza for example. You you buy a pizza, it's just you, and you just instead of saving some of the pizza, you sit there and you eat the entire pizza in one sitting or like that night. And not to say that you know you might you might be into exercising, you might need the carbs or whatnot, but this isn't for you if if that's what you're doing it for. It's for people who are just doing it because of uh, empty reasons. I'm gonna say that. So be mindful of that and don't embrace that spirit of greed and wastefulness. And I, I'm hearing that it's called wastefulness because even after you get full, after you get satiated, you're still eating just to make it, you know, just to be done with it. So there were names that came up, which is different. I remember um, the guy who was kind of rude to me. I'm, I'm I'm not sure if the name is Dorado, but it was a, a name something like that. But that's the name that I wrote down, Dorado, and I, he was the one that was kind of rude to me. And the name Dwight came about, and Matt or Matthew came about. So we have wedding wedding planning. Some people thought you were just like the rest of them. Some even thought you were less than, but you stand out. Even without trying, even in uniform, you stand out. You are authentic. I'm hearing. I mean, I'm hearing. <laughs> I heard no holds barred energy, and no holds barred is in quotations. And it says this is enticing someone. And that's when it, it was like when, when I remember when I put my hand under the cover, he was already ready. So I don't know what he was dreaming about or what I don't know, but he was ready. But anyway. <laughs> Anyway, um, an upper echelon energy. So that represents the energy of that person. Like I said, I remember hearing president. I don't know if he was like the president. Did we? I'm, I'm going to get to that. Anyway, uh, it says someone a lot of people look up to or admire or someone who just or just someone who thinks highly of themselves. So you have completely captivated someone. Some of you arouse someone or someone just feels safe in your energy. So it could be both or one or the other. But, you know, I honestly feel like a lot of people feel safe in your com in your energy, in your company. Like a lot of people like to be around you. You make them feel safe and secure. Even people who don't know you feel safe and secure around you. Like I remember being at this table. And like everyone was talking to me, like even from other tables, except for that one dude, Dorado, whoever, whatever his name was. I know he had like an exotic name and it started with D. And um, I'm also I'm hearing Draco. I don't know. That's not exotic, but I'm just hearing that name. Um, but um, I, he, he had an attitude, but he was definitely paying attention to everything that we were saying, everything that was being said. But it was like everyone around me was like conversating with me. And we were like vibing, but um, it says a baby celebration, high school people resurfacing. Some, the last time you were in connection, there was beef, just some of them. Others, they had a crush on you that they dismissed because of certain connections. And that's what I was saying. Like um, there was a third party. I, I'm feeling like y'all weren't like in a connection or whoever this, whoever it is, it might not be you, I don't know. But th these people weren't in a connection, but they would like flirt a lot with one another. And then uh, one of them got into a relationship or a connection and that third party just ceased and desisted everything that was going on prior to them. Even if y'all was just friends, you know, sometimes when two people are single, y'all can flirt and not have any intentions of being sexual intimate or in a connection but this third party was like mm -mm. 
it's over and done with. <laughs> and yeah, so I'm going to leave it there. It says being ignored by loved ones, but not really being bothered by it. Because like I said, she had like an attitude, this family member or familial, she had an attitude, but I just remember just laughing and walking off. Uh, swift acceleration or elevation. I felt like um, I have been at this company. I forgot to say this part. I don't, I don't think it, I don't remember this part of the dream. I just remember the feeling. Like I remember being at this company for a short amount of time, but they were already trusting me to like lock up the building at night. That's not like really something that you give like a week in a day. That's not really something that you know, you are doing with people unless they're in security. I don't know, but it just really felt like um, I was very much so trusted on the job, even though I had been on there a very short amount of time. And also that that um, energy of going from the front, the back of the building where I was sitting at to the front. And not only did I go to the front, but I was presenting myself and um up there with the president, CEO, whoever he was, it's, it's, it keeps coming up. So I'm just saying, this, it's the name, the words that came up is president, CEO, or founder. I ended up up there with him. Hold on. Okay, so we just had a tornado warning. So that for me, that is confirmation of whatever I said. I don't remember. It's been a minute. I don't remember what I was speaking on when I. You know, when I say hold on, but number one, I hope you're all safe and secure and all of that good stuff. If you are, you know, in the Memphis, what is it? Memphis, the Tennessee, Arkansas, Mississippi area. I hope you're safe and secure during this time, even though by the time you see this, it'll be all over. But anywho, I feel like that is a form of confirmation because one, I have in my notes, uh, sirens as a sound, sirens as a sound, you know, like sirens is significant. And then we heard the, I don't know if you heard it, but I most definitely had a tornado warning in my area. But anyway, it says you have an energy of being promoted quickly or more swiftly than others. So you may have experienced this in your life. You may have been that person who you'll start a job and then you may accelerate past people who have been there. Or um, I remember having a job, like a lot of the jobs that I had, I did get accelerated swiftly myself personally. But I remember having a job where I got promoted faster than the person who got me the job who not got me the job but who helped me get the job like their word of mouth got me in the door but I got me the promotion and there there was like a little I don't know there was like a little beef a little feeling of beef or, or like I don't know I just remember feeling some lower vibrational energy when that happened but anyway so I also got jealous admirers. So there's some people that watch you like Durango, Dorado, whatever his name was <laughs> watching like a slick admirer. But I just saw one nine, one nine on the clock. So 10, 10 may be significant. The number 19 may be significant. I don't know. But he I could tell that he liked me because, you know, pay attention to body language. But his actions were you know, like he was trying to hide it. And then I heard the song, they sneaking, they watching, they sneaking, they watching, they sneaking, they watching. I don't know the song. I just remember hearing it before on like a TikTok or something. So if that's a real song, can you put it in the comments so I can hear it? And if it's not, then whatever. <laughs> it says, you bear all in an authentic, seductive, classy captivating way captivating felt like it kept coming up in the energy like you you're really like captivating someone like pulling them in magnetizing them towards you there's like this chemistry that's building up because of who you are as a person excuse me thank you who you are authentically you're like in this space of like being who you are learning yourself connecting with yourself and as you are doing this, there are people outside of you who will find this quality within you seductive. Um, I'm hearing that, 
you you encourage others to do the same as well and those who don't have the confidence to do it you invoke an energy of jealousy within them it says enchanting siren like energy so there, there someone may think that you're like putting a spell on them i put a spell on you and now you're mine i don't know hocus pocus is coming up that's one of my favorite movies the second one is even good y'all y'all should watch it but anyway um and then it says sirens as a sound is significant then we have the president ceo and founder and the white dress with a unique flare flare came out in two different spellings i don't know the it came out in the um f l a i r and now i'm hearing flying in the air i feel like you're being put on display or something like a lot of people are noticing you at this time or you're just your energy is just very magnetic to a lot of people and then flare f l a r e so um i don't know why i'm picking up on like the flares that be in the like i was gonna say in the street <laughs> that's a movie <laughs> you know when um when people strike the flare for sight for light and things like that anyway um new hair or short hair may be significant burlesque shows or like a burlesque type of energy is significant mysterious and then in quotations also in quotations it says when it says you bear all and then then in quotations it says the authentic seductive classy and captivating way i'm seeing it like appearing you know how when a movie comes out and it has that um and it, ha it has those quotes from the people who viewed it like the critics i'm seeing that I'm seeing it coming about like that. But in quotations, it has mesmerizing someone who fights against loving you or liking you. And then it says there's stylish male dress shoes. Like those shoes when that guy put his feet up to block me from sitting down there, they like really stood out. So the color is gold and brown may be significant. Um, something about the team of servers that serve the food may be significant. Um, and it says something about an unforgettable and unex unexpected kiss or connection. And loving and nurturing soul came up. Someone really feels like your soul. I'm hearing ravishing. Someone, it, it's like someone gets magnetized towards you in, in the surface level by how you look to them how you uh, um, present yourself to them but then when they get to know you it's like they're, they're getting they get even deeper into it <sighs> headaches may be significant i'm hearing something about migraines you just need to meditate i mean like i always say i'm no doctor i'm no physician so grain of salt but connect with your thoughts meditate Silence the mind. Let's see what other messages come out. I'm hearing in a sea of goldfish, you stand out. Even if y'all are all goldfish, it's something about your pattern, your, you know, your, your scales that stands out to someone else or to another goldfish. Okay, just saying. I feel like there are unions, like, there are some unions that are going to be happening before this year ends. And today, today is the ninth. There are some unions that's going to be happening before winter ends. Now I got to keep watching this web because they said we're having a tornado warning, but... They also say there's no tornado, but one could like pop up at any moment. I feel safe and protected, but you know, you gotta be vigilant. The color is green may be significant. I'm feeling like someone is going to be helping me heal the heart space. 
I feel like before this connection really solidifies, there's going to be a lot of healing in the heart space. So something that I learned about auras is that, you know, the color green is associated with the heart chakra. But the color pink is also associated with the heart chakra. So the color green is associated with the outward love, what you show people. And the color pink is all about like the self love. What do you, how do you, what you, sh what love you show to yourself. So that may be significant. Pinks may be significant for you to you. You may be seeing a lot of pink. You may see this person in pink. I don't know, but the color pink is significant. The third eye chakra is coming up and um, I'm hearing that it needs healing. And that's one of the incense that I, is that, is that one? No, I use the throat, the throat, the heart, and the crown. Maybe I do need to do the third eye. But I feel like, I feel like you have been getting signs of some sort of love connection i feel like you you guys dream about one another you guys connect with one another in the spirit realm you know each other very deeply in the spirit realm in the dream realm in the astral realm whatever you want to call it but you guys connect there i'm hearing husband and wife i'm hearing spouses because you know genders don't matter I feel like this love is definitely coming in for you. I feel what I feel like is that connect with that feeling. Listen to love songs. I heard this song yesterday. What was it? If you really, really want it, all you gotta do is get up. Who is that? Cut Close and Key Slit. That song came up. So that song may be significant. The energy of that song. The time has come for us. Ooh, baby. To get real busy, baby. I feel like there's going to be a lot of like time being spent together when this connection comes about, especially in the one well, I'm saying, especially in the beginning, but it's, it's going to be like that during the whole relationship. I'm not saying that you're going to neglect people or shut people out. 1010 may be significant. Again, we just saw 1010 with the, with the 1919. Now I just saw 2828. So 1010 may be significant. 10, 10, 10 across the board. I don't know. I'm feeling like, you know what, what's coming to mind is that just as much as this person is attracted to you, when you meet them, you're going to be attracted to them as well. It's like you're both viewing each other as teens. So that message came about from the teens, even though that's not the message of the teens, that's one of the messages. Let's see. We're going to get some love messages. But this love message, because this is love again, like love again, love again, love again, love again. Love again. I'm hearing that Brandy, Brandy, Boy, you got my number. I don't know. I can't. I can't get it. I can't get the words. I can't get the tone. I can't. I kind of get the tone, but I kind of don't. I promise we'll find love again. I think it's called Love Again by Brandy. Who is the other guy? Daniel Caesar? Is it? If you can. I'm feeling chills. Like, I. Ooh. I promise we'll find love again. Ooh. I feel that this love is going to be so amazing. Brandy, her, her, one of her, a song from her old album is coming up. Like her album from back in, when I was a kid, back in the day, is coming up. Love is so amazing. Mm, I can't get it. 
it's something about love from i think it's i'm not even gonna i think it, i know it got um best friends on it moving on i know all of those songs are on that album so if you can find that song put it in the comments let me know but i'm hearing two more i keep trying to figure that song out it keeps coming. It, it keeps trying to come up. Love is on my side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not both of the songs trying to mix together. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> y'all <sighs> this feels so romantic and it's like very much so y'all hear that thunder for confirmation it feels very much so like a divine connection like you have uh, both been I'm hearing cultivating one another heart, one another's hearts from a distance. Like even though you've gone through life with the lovers you've had, the heartbreaks, the heartaches, the breakups, the non-commitments, the commitments, all of that thing, all of those things from a distance, you've been like indirectly crafting your hearts for the other. Yeah, I think I'm going to go on in this reading because it's, that's taking all my focus. But it, this love, I, I always hear a love of a lifetime. Don't try to control it. Don't try to rush it. Go with the flow. Okay? Let it all happen naturally. So I send you all so much love and light. I will see you on the next one. I'm safe.